everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Before the Odds. You got Big Willis. You got Pick 5, Johnny. We are back in the house. And we are talking Preakness, of course, because that is what's coming up on Saturday. We got something special tonight, though. Tell them what's up, Big Willis. We're going to talk about Mage. And that's the only horse in the Preakness uh, entered into the Preakness from the Kentucky Derby. That's wild, man. That's probably... that's a. I was trying to look up that stat. But, I mean, the Preaknesses that I've seen have had more horses from the Derby enter it. It's a lost thing, man. So, we had Disarm was in here. Yeah. And um, he was a part of the entries. He was a probable, we, yeah. We spoke about him on, on the last Preakness show. Well, he's not coming. You had, um, uh, what's the other horse? Uh, well, you thought you thought maybe like a King's Barnes. King's Barnes or... Um, you thought maybe Angel of Empire. Angel of Empire. Um, you thought Two Fills. Two Fills. Two Fills to me is very surprising because... Two fills, I mean, it was right there. Confidence game. Confidence game, yeah. That's the one I really thought That's was going to be here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, even, even you know, the horses that came second and third in the Kentucky Derby aren't running. And you know what, man? It sucks because it takes away from the prestige. Right. Ten years ago, this wouldn't have happened. Five years ago, I don't know. But, like, it sucks when yeah, horses in sure. the Derby don't just run back. It takes away from the prestige. No, yeah, it, it sucks. Just, so you got one horse in the Preakness, and that's Mage. And it, you know, it just, it breaks me. It breaks my heart. It is Mage, and that's right. Today we are talking about why Mage will win the, the 149th Preakness. Preakness. Well, he's brave. 49th? 48th, 48th, he, sorry. He's 48. brave. So Mage, you know, good magic. Javier Castellano won oh, his... Real, real quick, I know, we're going, we're going, but... Uh, there's three good magics in here, there which is, is wild. Perform, perform, um, blaze, blaze, and mage, and mage. So good magic, second to justified in the Kentucky Derby, yep. is getting justice by yes. winning the Kentucky Derby with one of his sons and having three entered in the Preakness. Yeah, that's wild. So maybe as a sire, as a sire, maybe good magic could win the Triple Crown. Yeah, he'll be a prize. He'll be he'll, Yeah, yeah, you're right. They used to have that bet too, or something yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I remember you used to always talk about that, and I don't think they do those anymore. They don't do the sire wagers anymore, man. That's which wild. Is, which is a bad, you know, it was cool. The sire wagers were cool. So um, we are talking, yeah, we are talking Mage winning the Preakness and why. We right away, he so. deserves to be favored. He deserves all the respect. Yes. He's coming out of the Kentucky Derby, um, lightly raced, like you said. Very which, lightly raced, Which is yeah. one of the reasons you like him a lot yeah. to win the Preakness. Mm -hmm. So is he my top pick? No. Right. But. I agree he should be the favorite. Mm -hmm. I, I agree he's the bravest. And he deserves it. Yeah. Coming out of that coming out of that big race. And yeah. he, he's coming out of the Florida Derby. Um One he's of coming favorites. out of the Fountain of Youth. Yep. And his only win prior to the Kentucky Der Derby was his maiden win. Yeah. Which is wild. That's no horse has ever done that. The only win you have either as a two or three year old is your maiden. And then you win the Kentucky Derby. I don't know. Maybe the long, long shots. Um, maybe. No, no, you're right. Because I'm trying to think about Rich Strike. But he had a win at church. Maybe it was it just his no, maiden? He, no, he no, he had a win at church. No, he broke his maiden and he won in the Okay, losses. okay. And then I don't know about um, Mind That Bird. Mind That Bird won um, his maiden and won an allowance race at Sunland Park. Did he? before. Yeah, okay. And then he finished in third. He actually won the prep race for the Sunland Derby. Yeah. If you do know of any other horses, please leave in the comments because this is very, very impressive. Very, very shocking and exciting at the same time. What's cool, too, we're both from Miami and a big part of the connections for Mage are from Miami. Yeah, it's ultra I cool, I think that's freaking awesome. And bro. Mage comes out of the Florida Derby where Kentucky Derby favorite Forte beat him yes. in a great run. Mage looked like he had the Florida, yeah, yeah, Florida yeah, yeah. Derby wrapped up. And all of a sudden, here comes Forte, just blowing right crazy, by him. Crazy, crazy. And Forte was my pick of the Kentucky Derby. Yep. Here comes Mage getting ran down by Forte. Morning, we wake up, and I get hit with a text. Devastated. He scratched. Forte scratched. Yeah. Um, and just to, just to touch up on that real quick. So it was a, a minuscule amount of drugs. Uh, it was... Um, a anti-inflammatory. Oh, from the one millionth uh, yeah, of, a, yeah. of a of a account inside of right in his body, but it is what it is. But we're not going to get deep on that. No, nope. but I like horses coming out of the Florida Derby. I like Mage, yeah. and Mage has a good shot to win the Preakness for sure, which will set him up to win the Triple Crown. Yeah, the yeah, and that's that's the story everybody in America wants, wants to, to see, see is that Triple Crown, man. Even though it's been it hasn't been such a long drought. 
This is the 50th anniversary for Secretariat at the Belmont this year. That just gave me chills. It really does. That, that type of that type of seat, like that type of year. And what a year to do it with Mage, a horse that only broke his maiden on January 28th and then won the Kentucky Derby just three months later. Yeah. Well, three and a half. It's pretty wild, bro. Two races later, he goes yeah. on to win the Kentucky Derby. Yeah. And part of my so if you follow my trends, yeah, coming out of the Florida Derby. Well, go ahead, shut up, Big Willis. I said, I want you on a win streak. Right. Well, right. he got second in the Fountain of Youth, or third fourth in the Fountain of Youth, and second, second in, in, the, the, Florida in the Florida Derby. Yeah. So I was wrong on that aspect. Amen. Gustavo's got it figured out. Javier St uh, Castellano went 16 times, or he was 0 15 going into the Kentucky Derby. Wow. On his 16th See, I didn't know that. try, he wins the Kentucky Derby. Wow. It, he's still, you know, he's still a young jockey. Hall of Famer, Javi. He just won the Peter Pan. Yeah, wow. You know, like, Javi's on a roll. Yeah. Everything's gearing towards Mage. And if we want to talk about the race, so I think it absolutely sets up for him. Yes. I do. I like, so, that's what, and I didn't get a chance to research it enough, but I want to know the post positions for, like, the past 10 winners. And I know a lot of them are on those inside five. They got to be. Yeah, well, it, it doesn't. The post position isn't like the Kentucky Derby. If you're right. not, if you're not like right, right, right. into it like us or just aware of it, the post positions there's not 18 horses or 20 mm -hmm. horses in here. So being that wide doesn't. It's not a, that big of a difference. Um, well, I think Mage has the perfect spot sitting in three, but horses on the front end they're gonna go you got oh, yeah. you got national treasure yep. ba bob baffords welcome back mm -hmm. mind you he's not suspended next year so we're gonna have bafford back in the dirt i know i saw so that you got bafford back with national treasure whom i do not like who's gonna show some speed from the inside yep. post you got um uh you got come with chris come with, come chris, with chris on the fr a little to bit me is cheap speed yeah who might get the lead I'm over not them Coffee with Chris. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Coffee, Coffee with, with Chris. Chris. Not coming with Chris. He's going to show cheap <laughs> speed. And then you also have uh, first, first mission, mission yeah. is another horse that likes to be up front. Necessarily not on the lead, but he's on the outside. He's gonna he doesn't want to get caught wide. No. So you got three horses that potentially could set up a decent pace. Right. Well, does that set up great for the closers? Not necessarily. They're no. not going to be flying. So those three horses that I said, none of them particularly – need the lead right i think they go i think the first quarter might be fast yep but my original pick is blazing sevens and right. i like him a lot i think chad brown set up for this but i think going through it handicapping the post positions handicapping the speed ratings going to time for him looking at speed the the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the time for uh speed ratings and it absolutely sets up for mage it does and he's beat the best horses None of these horses were in the Derby. Only one qualified. I know, and that's Blazing Sevens. And you know what's wild is he beat he beat Angel of Empire, who smoked Red Route One. Now, granted, they had the blinkers on, I think, in that race, and Red Route One, who's in this race. That's why I'm bringing him up. Um, he uh, he just didn't didn't run didn't yeah. really run that day and couldn't close. And the pace wasn't crazy fast, but he could, he's, he I've seen him close better. But to to my point. Angel of Empire smoked Red Route 1. Well, Mage beat Red, uh, Angel of Empire. So Sound you've right. got, yeah. And Red Route 1, to me, is one of the better horses in here. And I'm not a fan of Red Route 1. Right. I'm really not. Red Route 1's got almost double or triple the amount of races. Crazy. Of yeah. And none of his races compared to that Kentucky Derby win that Mage put up. Yeah. Agreed. I'm not the biggest Mage fan, but if I got to go off straight handicapping, and I have no favoritism towards jockey or trainer or beliefs on what I said prior in January, right, right, December, right, exactly. November. If I'm just looking at the papers, man, it's mage all the way. Right. Now, take into account this horse is coming off a two-week, uh, mm -hmm. uh, right. coming off short, two weeks. Short, short little stretch short of, little stretch. of rest, right. But if you go look at um, Gustavo, he's known to do this. Yeah. So... In the last thousand runs of Gustavo, he has 84 horses that have ran in less than two weeks. Wow. So I'm going to hit you with a stat, or I'm going to ask you a question. <laughs> and I'm almost positive you don't know. I'm almost positive you don't know. So out of the last thousand horses, 
that Todd Pletcher has ran, how many out of those thousand horses have ran in two weeks? In two weeks. I say zero. No, that's way low. Oh. Ten. Thirty. Wow, okay. Chad Brown? Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Wow. Steve Asmussen? Who runs more horses than yeah, any yeah, man yeah. in this country? Probably Stevie. 42. Under 20. Wow. So Gustavo does this. This is his thing. He doesn't run as many horses right. as these guys. He's done this 84 times. Yeah. That's his stat. That's huge. Yeah. He brings horses back. Now, you're going to go, if you want to go look it up and question me, you're going to look at Chad Brown, Todd Pletcher, and Asmussen. They race at the highest level. Gustavo exactly. doesn't. Yeah. A lot of those horses were in Argentina right, 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 or Brazil right, right. or claimers brought right. from there running at Gulfstream at fifteen, twenty five, thirty five thousand right, 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 dollars. Right. But the fact is is he runs horses back. If he's, anybody can do it, he can. I think that's the that's he, that's the he, thought. He's process. not scared to do it. There's no talk of like why shouldn't we or why shouldn't right. he's ready to run back. Granted, most winners of the Kentucky Derby run yeah. back, minus country house. And Minus last year's rich, rich strike. strike, right? But those horses weren't supposed to win. Yeah, Mage was a strong candidate to win the Kentucky Derby, and he did. That's so they're wild. bringing him back, well bred, good jockey, Hall of Fame jockey. Everything sets up for Mage. Yeah, you, it almost sounds like I don't want Blazing Sevens. I know, but I know. I mean, these are reasons why Mage, Mage will win, win the Kentucky the, Derby. Uh, or um, excuse uh, me, the yeah, Preakness. Preakness. Yeah, I'm just still astounded at the maiden special way win in January. Then fourth in the Fountain of Youth. I forgot he ran the Fountain of Youth. Second in the Florida Derby to Forte, and now first in the Kentucky Derby. What a great story to me that this would be if he can go win the Preakness. Now, I don't know if he'll win the Belmont or not. I don't even want to think that far. I just want to enjoy this story, and hopefully Mage comes home with the victory for the connections from Miami and for the storyline of the Belmont and the Triple Crown Series. So if Forte was in this race, who would be favorite? Forte yeah, or Forte. Mage? Obviously, it had to be Forte. Even with the the oh, even with the Kentucky Derby win, yeah, I think it'd be like nine to five and eight to five, because of Forte's such good resume. Forte yeah. might even Forte would probably go off as the favorite. They would look at Mage's victory in the Kentucky Derby as like, oh yeah, well Forte wasn't in there. Who do you who do you, who do you think? Who would you bet? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be hard. I I'd almost I. Because of the improvement I've seen from Mage every single race, I have to think he's going to keep getting better because he's such a young horse. He has so much room to improve. I bet Mage, and I'm going to bet Mage this weekend in the Preakness, and this story is going to live on, and we're going to the Belmont with the Triple Crown on the line. If Forte was in this race, I would take Mage over Forte. Really? I, not saying he didn't make because, right. of, because of the scratch. Right. Something... When, when a trainer sets up for something and it doesn't follow through, usually the, 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 net, the B plan yeah. doesn't work. It doesn't. Right. Horses that go to the Breeders' Cup, yeah. they don't run their best, and all of a sudden they're running in December, and they're a great horse, they don't win. Yeah. Similar situation. And I, I, I like love it. Forte. I agree with that. Yeah, and that's wild. Yeah, so if Big Willis is saying that, that's pretty crazy to me because – he loves Forte, like loves, loves, loves. Forte's Forte. the best three-year-old running. Yeah, and he's not. And we're not gonna. Races. We're not. I don't think we're gonna see him for a while. I don't think we see him in the Belmont. I hope we see him in the summer, the yeah. high school or the travel or Toga. Yeah, I think we see him at Toga. Yeah, I just think Todd Pletcher Toga over the high school. Yeah, I think but so. that mile and eighth might be a better comeback for him as opposed to the mile and a quarter. In yeah, the, in the Travers. Yeah, man, I really do hope he's back. So talking about this race, like. The, even though I told National Treasure, First Mission, and... Uh, coffee with Chris. <laughs> coffee with Chris. Not with Chris. <laughs> coffee with Chris. Those horses are going to battle for the lead. I still don't think they're going to go fast. I think they're going to set a decent pace. No one's going to be rushing. It hurts horses like Blazing Sevens, like Red Route 1. Yeah. That are going to be coming flying late. Yeah. The race sets up better for Mage, for... Uh, first mission. Yeah, first mission is definitely scary, man. The way for perform. Yeah, perform. and I don't like perform at all. Perform, but yeah. considering how the race will draw right. out and what is more logical, but I still think I still think it other horses that. have a shot. Yeah, of course. No, I do too. But this is why Major win the Preakness, and that's what we're sticking to, and that's what I'm sticking with. 
I just think there's so many points for this horse that all the other horses are second tier to the ones he went against two weeks Absolutely, ago. Absolutely, man. And I'm, and I'm, yeah, I'm all in. I think Mage is going to get it done. And there's, I, I really don't think, I think Rare Out 1 is going to be coming too late. And I think Blazing Sevens, Sevens I don't know if he's going to get like the distance. Like no, do. no. Well, he doesn't and, want this distance. No, I know. I know. So it, it'll be interesting. You know, Chad's just doing Chad things. And, and if he wins, I'm not surprised. Three out of the last six were Chad. Yeah. Like and don't this. get me wrong. If, or sorry, if, not three. Sorry. Two out of the last six. Three out of the last six didn't run the Derby. Sorry. If if you get six to one on Blazing Sevens, yes. But if he's anything lower than that, stay away. Yeah. Straight, stay away. Yeah. And let me tell you another stat. So if you follow the time form of uh, power figures and the speed figures, um, since 2006, um, only, I believe it's, I think, three horses since 2006 have one that weren't in the top three of the time form speed mm, figures. Okay. Since 2006. Wow. So yes, I three, saw that. I saw so that. The top the prime three power, horses. The prime the prime power. Power. Top three horses are Mage, National Treasure, yes. and First, First Mission. Mission. Yep, Those I saw are the, that. So, like, if you want to stick to a trend and stats. That's a really good one. That's a good one right there. Yeah. Those, those are facts. Yep. And since 2006, only three horses yeah. have ever fit, have won the, the Preakness that, that weren't. Top I wonder if one of them was Swiss Skydiver, probably. Probably because you're coming out of a Philly race, you know, yeah. coming out that of that was a freakish yeah. one. So, you know, that's it for this segment of why we think Mage is winning the Preakness. And there's a lot of good points. We've got Lightly Raced. We've got Gustavo Delgado is coming known on. for coming, coming off short weeks. layoffs. Okay. We've got Javier Castano, uh, Javier, yeah, Javier Castellano Castellano. wins the Derby for the first time on 15 tries, then comes back and wins the Peter Pan. Yes. Um, yes, uh, he's got the all the confidence. for the Belmont. He's ultra confident, Hall of Famer jockey. Yep. And you've also got just the, the race the, setting up for him. Yeah. You got the race setting up for him, and you've got the 50th year anniversary of Secretariat. How awesome would it be if we're going into that Belmont with a, a triple, triple crown, crown setup? Line? I think the magic for Mage is going to happen. Good magic. Hopefully it's and if you good go, if you go look magic. at Mage, Mage means magic. Oh, I love That's it, what bro. Mage I got means chills magic. again. Listen, if Mage wins, I'm hyped too. I will have Mage in my bed. Yeah, you have to. I will have Mage in all for my For sure. Bed. Guys, man, we appreciate you. Make sure you like and subscribe. Big Willis, Pick 5 Johnny, why Mage will win the Preakness. Let's go. Big Preakness weekend. Let's have some fun. Let's win some money. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Don't forget to like and subscribe. IG, Twitter, baby. Like and subscribe. Let's go.